Lights and sirens for a man with a camera. What are you doing here? Working on a story of corruption. Dave Patty or brutal psycho. Conflicting views of officer accused of abuse. The alleged abuse of suspects already in handcuffs was both physical and racial. Ryder threatened a lawyer in court saying he would, quote, take care of the attorney. And Ryder developed an extremely close relationship with former NASA County Executive Laura Curran, who named Ryder police commissioner. Some of Ryder's own police say the relationship was inappropriate. Warrant for misdemeanor trespassing. Then, Police Chief Patrick Ryder dispatched plainclothes deputies to Reyes's neighborhood in Suffolk County. One unmarked car nearly crashed into Reyes on the street. This is a story of tyranny and corruption. Who's at the helm? Police Commissioner Patrick Psycho Ryder. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. In today's video, we will be reacting to journalist David Schuster's latest reporting on the tyranny and corruption that has been taking place in Nassau County, New York. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm a people person. I like people. Um, I'm a hugger, <laughs> which my wife yells at me all the time. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> By all accounts, Nassau County, New York Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder is charismatic, but he also faces accusations that he is corrupt and psychotic. Policing's gotten better. We're not perfect. Most recently, Ryder dispatched plainclothes cops and unmarked cars to a different county to intimidate and try to arrest a citizen journalist. A journalist who's been digging into alleged Nassau County Police slush funds and financial irregularities. The visiting Nassau County cops, who initially did not tell local Suffolk County cops about this raid, saw home security cameras and put on masks and face coverings. What were the police trying to hide? What were they intending to do? My name is Sergeant Grill at the Nassau County Police Department. More on this incident in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop the video here briefly. Those are great questions. What were they trying to hide and what were they intending to do? Because a law enforcement officer seeing a security camera and immediately covering his face, that's not normal police behavior. How do I know that? Because I've spoken to police officers across this country and showed them this video, and they were all very concerned and told me, this is not normal. This is not what we do. We do not send plainclothes officers across county lines without notifying local law enforcement, and we don't send plainclothes officers for a low-level misdemeanor. As they watched this video, all they can tell me was how many felony warrants, how many calls were missed because of this low-level misdemeanor charge. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is all on the orders of Police Commissioner Patrick Psycho Ryder. Controversy has long followed Patrick Ryder. Even at the beginning of his police career, Ryder sparked headlines. Brave Patty or Brutal Psycho. Conflicting views of officer accused of abuse. The alleged abuse of suspects already in handcuffs was both physical and racial. In the case of jury hears comp brutality charge, Ryder threatened a lawyer in court saying he would, quote, take care of the attorney. A police commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, told another law enforcement officer that he would take care of an attorney. That is absolutely insane, and it blows my mind. What, what motive does that attorney, who had nothing to do with it, he was talking about a third attorney, the attorney that overheard this conversation, what motive does he have for lying about police commissioner Patrick Ryder or officer Ryder at the time? What motive would he have? He has none. They took this threat so seriously that they brought it before the judge and submitted an internal affairs complaint. Absolutely ridiculous. Yet this man becomes the leader of one of the largest police departments in the country after allegedly threatening to kill an attorney, take care of him. We all know what that means. Through the years, there have been multiple complaints against Ryder for excessive force. And yet Ryder continued to rise through the ranks. I raised a lot of money here in forfeiture, did a lot with intel, lowered crime. By forfeiture, he's talking about asset forfeiture. For many years, Ryder was in charge of the program, and he used some of the funds, as he noted in this recent police podcast, to expand the Nassau County Police intelligence capabilities. We used to have two people doing intel. We now have close to 70 people doing intel. And as this room that you're in in this outside area is all um, the 70 people that work in what we call intel. There's about 25,000 square feet dedicated to that. And 70 sworn law enforcement officers working intel in a 25,000 square foot building 
all looking for a journalist with a camera who's asking tough questions that they don't want to answer. Again, it was mostly paid for by the asset forfeiture program Ryder oversaw. But what else did Ryder spend money on? The commissioner has repeatedly refused to open up the books and allow an independent forensic accounting review. Police Commissioner Ryder, if you have nothing to hide with asset forfeiture, turn over all the documents. Do so willingly. My sources tell me that he will never turn over the documents. Turn over the documents, Commissioner Ryder, and I will pay a forensic accountant to audit the documents. And if you have nothing to hide, they won't find any irregularities or that you used any of the funds for your own personal gain. Where's the transparency, Commissioner Ryder? Do the right thing. And as controversies go, that's just the start. By his own admission, Ryder developed an extremely close relationship with former NASA County Executive Laura Curran, who named Ryder police commissioner. Some of Ryder's own police say the relationship was inappropriate. Amidst all of this, over the summertime, NASA County government offices got a surprise visit from constitutional auditor and independent journalist Sean Paul Reyes, also known as Long Island Audit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting inside the Department of Health and Human Services here. Are you recording? No, get that out of my face. But ma'am, you're coming. Calm down. You're coming up to me, yeah. and then you're asking me if I'm why I'm recording, and then to stop yeah. recording you. Just a heads up, they don't even let News 12 come in here. If News 12 comes to film things, they have to film outside, facing the cameras away from the building. Well, maybe News 12 doesn't know their constitutional rights. I've heard a lot of bad things about this well, office. I'm being interviewed. I'm not interviewing you. You came to me. Respectfully. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to either of you. I'm just saying that the taxpayers of Nassau County pay a lot of money for you guys to enforce the law and uphold the Constitution. We're done talking from now on. You can. You have the right to remain silent. That's fine. Okay. Sure. No problem, sir. Yeah. The government facility is allowed to restrict. Not sure. Videotaping. There, it's on the onus is on the government employees, the public servants, in order to keep that, gov that information safe. The law enforcement officers stepped away. It's a big walk of shame here. But they gave Reyes a warning. Starting tomorrow, they're not going to let you do it. So starting today, no, for today, no. And then starting tomorrow, they're not going to let me. Building's closed, so we're done. If you come back tomorrow on your record, we'll handle it then. Okay. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow. So we'll be back here tomorrow, and we'll see what happens then. The next day, Reyes returned to the government building. Police arrested him and seized his camera and video footage. I was unlawfully arrested, locked in a jail cell for several hours, and my camera equipment stolen from me. Ultimately, I was charged with criminal trespass in the third degree, which carries a maximum sentence of 90 days of incarceration. As Reyes started posting his videos, he said he got a flood of sources and new leads about Nassau County budgets and questionable spending. Today, we are at the Nassau County office building here in Mineola, New York. Good luck making it home tonight. You cannot film in here, sir. The more I investigate the Nassau County government, the more corruption I find. The more corruption I find and the more sources I get. I have multiple sources inside the Nassau County Police Department and inside the Nassau County District Attorney's Office. It turns out that not everybody in our government is corrupt and tyrannical. There are true patriots out there. They are terrified to come forward publicly, but they have been feeding me a lot of information, including the fact that Commissioner Patrick Ryder has opened an internal affairs investigation into finding these sources of mine, but he never will. They are good at covering their tracks. Just the fact that he's looking for these people speaks volumes. This man is paranoid, and he wants to silence anyone who is trying to expose his corruption. So the alleged corruption Reyes kept hearing about involved Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder. I have some FOIA requests I have to submit. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I film in here? Reyes requested documents and financial records, but got stonewalled. Nope, you didn't get rid of me yet. So Reyes decided to try and question Police Commissioner Ryder by going to the commissioner's home. He is allegedly racist, using racial slurs. I have an inside source in the police department that is feeding me all this information, and we're just trying to get to the bottom of it, how the Nassau County Police Commissioner is using asset forfeiture to steal people's property and use it for his own benefit. Hi, Mrs. Ryder. Hi, I was. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm Commissioner Ryder was not I was home. Wondering if you had any. Sure, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know that your, your husband's under investigation. Lights and sirens for a man with a camera. 
What are you doing here? Working on a story of corruption corrupt that involves corrupt. the police, com your boss, the okay. police commissioner, Patrick Ryder. Does everybody get special treatment like this? This is a figure of the police department. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Thanks, guys. I don't want to block anybody's driveway. Watch the videos a lot. Commissioner's wife said she asked you to leave. She shut the door. And I left. Okay. I'm going to exercise my right to remain okay, silent. I don't have to prove I anything. I am going to need ID from you, though. I didn't break any laws. You were possibly trespassing. Well, you were, will you arrest me if I don't identify myself? I'm not going to arrest you okay, if you don't great. identify yourself. Oh, wait, so I don't want to. I want to remain silent. I want to exercise my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I really, she didn't answer my question. You got here really quick. I'm on my way. Quick. I'm on my way. I don't have anything else. I'm not standing outside somebody's house. I was just asking her a question based on the allegations of Do corruption. You have on you? Sir, I don't, and I don't give it up unless I've broken the law, sir. All right? Yep. So I'm going to be going. Okay, thank you. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too, sir. Take All care. Right. Stay safe out there, right? Reyes left, but a few days later, a protective order was issued against him, blocking Reyes from police headquarters. Eight protective orders. Eight stay-away protective orders were issued against me for law enforcement and Nassau County government officials. You can't make this up. It baffled myself and my attorney, Jacob Uriel. How does a judge issue eight stay away protective orders against government officials and law enforcement? It's just a way to keep me from reporting on them and to keep me away. No allegations of threats or violence were ever made. None of that. I have a camera, not a weapon. I'm asking questions, not threatening people. Absolutely ridiculous. We hope to get those orders uh, vacated shortly there was also a warrant for misdemeanor trespassing then police chief patrick Ryder dispatched plainclothes deputies to reyes's neighborhood in suffolk county one unmarked car nearly crashed into reyes on the street reyes drove home and was followed into his driveway Soon, more police arrived, including uniformed Suffolk County cops who had initially not been told about the Nassau County police effort to grab Reyes. My name is Sergeant Grillo at the Nassau County Police Department. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Paul Reyes. He has a warrant for his arrest. The warrant for a nonviolent offense would not allow police to enter Reyes's home. And with the uniformed Suffolk County police watching, the Nassau County police eventually departed. Mm. The attempted arrest for a misdemeanor came on a Friday, late enough that had the police managed to get Reyes. He would have been forced to spend the weekend in a Nassau County jail before seeing a judge on Monday. Soon after this incident, Reyes says he was advised by a police force to leave the state for his own safety until a scheduled misdemeanor court appearance in October. In reporting this story, legal experts told us the actions against Reyes, including the criminal charge, were absurd. So I reached out to Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman, but Blakeman refused to take my call. When I reached a spokesperson for Police Chief Patrick Ryder, I was told there would be no comment for all questions. In other words, why didn't Nassau County Police notify Suffolk County Police about the raid? No comment. Does Nassau County routinely carry out arrest raids for a misdemeanor offense? No comment. Was this just an arrest? No comment. Why won't Police Commissioner Ryder allow an independent review of department finances? No comment. What is Commissioner Ryder's response to claims of racism personally and in his hiring? No comment. Was Police Commissioner Ryder romantically involved with Laura Kern, the previous NASA County Executive, who appointed Ryder Commissioner? No comment. The NASA County Police Department leadership reeks of corruption and seems to act more like an organized criminal gang than a group protecting and serving the public. To be fair, there are plenty of good police officers in NASA County. We've seen that in previous videos. But there are also many cops in NASA County, New York, who keeps saying their boss, Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder, is a dangerous and corrupt psychopath. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was very well put together and informative, which is why I wanted to share it with each and every one of you. Journalist David Schuster did an amazing job in his reporting. It is about time that other journalists started covering the story. 
the mainstream media and the local media has been bought and paid for, and they do not want to cover this story. This is a story of tyranny and corruption. Who's at the helm? Police Commissioner Patrick Psycho Ryder, a police commissioner who has been arrested twice for police brutality. There are serious questions regarding asset forfeiture, and he refuses to release the documents. So many questions, and all we get is a no comment. Orders of protection put on me in order to keep me from reporting, violating my First Amendment right. My next court date is October 10th. I am still working with the district attorney and my attorney in order to schedule a date where I will turn myself in on my outstanding warrant. Stay tuned for further updates. Again, thanks to David Schuster for reporting on this topic. It is truly appreciated. Please hit the like button and share this video so that way more people can see it. This man, Patrick Ryder, needs to be exposed to the world. So thank you again. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace. I don't know if I want to leave. Well, I left. And I left crying like a baby.